Good morning, good morning. Today, I would like to take you to the most northern point of Sanibel. In the 1890s, a thriving settlement with a population of around 100 started here. They had their own schoolhouse, post office, a store and a dock, where the residents would transport produce to the mainland. As we travel down the Sanibel Captiva Road and turn right onto Wolfert Road, I will tell you the story of Wolfert Point. In 1888, long after the Calusa Indians had left this area, Oliver Bowen and his wife Mary de Santos settled here. Other homesteaders soon joined, such as Thomas Holloway, Josiah Dinkins, and Lewis and Jenny Doan. Jenny was the postmistress and was considered rather fashion forward for the time. She often wore pants under her skirt. The early settlers made a very hard living as farmers on this remote area of the island. After a devastating hurricane in 1926, the land became contaminated by salt water. So the homesteaders left and the settlement was disbanded. Entrepreneurs soon came in and bought up the old homesteads. Clarence Chadwick was one. He was a Nebraska-born banker who in 1921 invented a way to make checks forgery resistant by overprinting them with patterned paper. John Oster, who manufactured the Osterizer blender, also bought up land. Oster purchased the old Holloway homestead and in the 1940s moved the original Holloway house from the tip of Walford Point to the Sanibel Captiva Road, where it stands to this day. Fast forward to the 1970s. Six investors joined together and purchased 400 acres in this area, with plans of building a golf course community. Before building began, 25 acres of Eagle Buffer was donated to the Sanibel Captiva Conservation Foundation. And 200 acres were given to the JN Ding Darling National Wildlife Refuge. They also set aside a small observation point where you can get a glimpse of Pine Island Sound. There is a parking lot to access the point for residents with an A parking sticker and non-residents with a B sticker. It is also accessible by bicycle. Wolfoot Point is back to the thriving community it once was. The development is now called The Sanctuary and there are 225 residences and an 18-hole private golf course. If you ever get a chance to visit this area of Sandoval, remember the early hard-working homesteaders who came before. My name is Nick Adams. Come and join me on the next one. I hope you're enjoying the content on this channel. If you are, please do subscribe, hit the like button and press the notification bell and you will be updated anytime there's new releases. Thanks again for watching.